said I'm back back in nature I went and uh, got wet a bit <coughs> water is not cold what I'll do during the summer I'll buy myself good uh, I don't know it's kind of risky to slip for me with my knee to in there I wouldn't want to break another fucking knee or break again the same knee you gotta be careful where I adventure yeah but it's a moment where we're uh... oh no Hold on, getting back to my spot. Enjoy the scenery. Yeah, personal freedom, personal freedom, and personal uh, uh, mastery is something that really, really interests me to uh, to a point that uh, I come here every day, and that's what I do personal master I think I don't think any one of us is eager to have more personal mastery I think that's all what we aim for especially if you're on YouTube some have the doubts about freedom some have questioned if we have too much freedom if our great liberties are too much of a good thing the long light of this golden age of peace and prosperity has changed the world for the better, but for some, it has led to sunburn on the soul. An excessive exposure to abundance that has led to indolence, greed, narcissism, and entitlement. That's what happened. I wanted to talk to you about the demons, to conquering the demons. Eh? Meeting life with full presence and power. Avoiding reality. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Avoiding reality. Some among us have the strength to ask questions, preferring the easy escape from life that is avoidance. That is avoidance. They prefer to turn away from the responsibilities and circumstances right in front of them. They remove themselves mentally, emotionally and spiritually from the now. Since engaging would involve hardship and unflinching self-examination. And that's the problem we have with, with it's the unflinching, unflinching self-examination because uh, if you know you are doing something wrong with your life, like if you uh, drink, if you drink your life away, you might not want to let go of that uh, of that vibration. So the self-examination, you will reject it. That's why you cannot have attachment to anything. Don't have attachment to anything, any drugs, any uh, anything like that, because. This is going to prevent, prevent you from having an unflinching self-examination. This is the man who avoids listening to his wife's request because it will require him to remove himself from the couch. The leader who avoids to meet the meeting because she would have to face the fact that her business is failing. Yeah. The student who goes out of the town rather than completing a difficult assignment. The man with the medical condition who refused to go to the hospital because it, mean, it might mean something is very wrong with his body and death is drawing near. You know, some people wait that they, uh, they're gonna need, they're gonna be near death to go consult. Even if it's a doctor in mainstream, if you're close to dying, they might save you. Not by chemotherapy, but they might help you, uh, especially if you have a trauma or something. To the immature or unconscious person, it feels sane to avoid the hardship that life thrusts at them. Oh, life will throw you all kinds of stuff. Life will, Murphy's Law will come and hit you at the back of the head. 
with no warning life is uh, nobody said life would be fair if you don't shine your light out there you're never gonna see a better world of better days eh? no better days are coming better days are here it's at our door it's near us it's very very close the better days are very close it's up to us to wake up and to uh, manifest the greatness it's easier to stop doing the art task right in front of them, to disperse their attention onto multiple easier tasks. Sometimes we avoid the big stuff because it's going to demand a lot of work. But it's necessary to master that. If you are casual with life, you will end up a casualty. That's for sure. Don't be casual with life. If you're casual with life, you will end up a casualty. That's for sure. Hold on, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something in my Bible. Ah, defeat our demons. Oh, get a good one. We shall defeat our demons. A person who doubts himself is like a man who would enlist in the ranks of his enemies and bear arms against himself. Yeah. As we gain greater presence and purpose in life, we become more attuned to our vitality and strength. We also become aware of the profound ways in which we limit ourselves. We come to realize that our thoughts, more so than our circumstances, sabotage our freedom and success. That's profound. We are the ones who allow our insecurities and fears to grow into the tidal waves of worry that wash our dreams away. We let that happen ourselves. I've said it many times. Don't blame others for where you are in life and your circumstances in life. You're the only one responsible. Take ownership for your life. Create a change. We are the ones who constantly delay our own progress. Quitting just as the hour demands courageous action. Most of the time when you're... When life will demand you to be courageous, you will give up. Most of the time, that's where people give up. When it's time to exude courage and joy and, and give thanks for life, this is where most of us give up because of fear and doubt, and mostly doubt and demons inside. We are the ones separating ourselves from others so that we didn't risk real connection or so that we can feel better than them. Better than them. None of us wants to look in the mirror and realize that the person looking back is the cause of such frustration. Greatness belongs to those who have mastered their internal wealth. You have to master your internal wealth. That's why I said at one point my, my, at one point my journey became internal. My conspiracies and stuff, it's good to flatter, but... I have other things to do in life than just talk about the shapeless thing of the earth, the shapeless form of the earth. Shapeless anyway. Let's concentrate on our dreams and let's ascend together as one. You know, there's, it's good that they talk about the lies, the lies, the lies, but what does lie do? Lies make you live in no vibration. That's what they want. So pull away a bit from the... the all their madness, you know, stay away from Babylon evil. There's all kinds of conspiracies, all kinds of stuff that can uh, draw someone's energy. And uh, So, recognize it, recognize the program is very important. Recognize that. Yeah. We are all plagued by doubt. But the great nevertheless finds faith and begin I had doubt too I had, I had doubt in the beginning but I had faith and I began I said fuck it I'm going right in 
take my phone and I'm jumping in. You'll get the first video and then uh, I went on and you gain momentum at one point. At one point, it's just the momentum too that you gain. So, he's out. We'll be back.